Hey everybody, it's Vitaly and I'm back. And now that I have Behringer's X32's firmware 4.0 update installed, and I've also in installed uh, PC Edit 4.0, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I would like to have seen, but did not. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. And Behringer has took some steps in the right direction. I'm going to give them credit where credit's due there. However, the the main thing I was hoping to see, it's not there. Or if it's there, I'm missing it. And if somebody else figures it out, please let me know. Uh, as y'all know, I use my X32 console in the studio as my recording interface. And I'm not the only one that has asked for this by any means. I'm looking at their setup and they did add our user ins and user outs, which is basically a, a patch bay. The problem is it's not giving us an easy way to tap our channels post fader so we can bring it into our DAW post fader. And I think this would have just been a matter of, of software because all the hardware is already there. It's already MIDI controlled. You can control it via Ethernet, via uh, X-Touch. It's got standard MIDI in it. You can control it with any regular MIDI device. It's got regular MIDI in. You can see all that here in uh, the setup under MIDI control. The hardware is already there. I wish that they had implemented the number one thing that users have been asking for since day one, since version one. And that's to give us a way to set up our card post fader. There is a workaround. Uh, Drew Brashear and several others have shared it on YouTube. The problem with that is you have to do, do some really creative rewriting and you end up losing half your channels. Uh, and, and I don't understand why Behringer didn't address it uh, and has not addressed it a long time ago. The bay, it's a basic pack bay on our ins and outs. Oh. Unfortunately, it's not giving us any way to tap our channels post fader. It's not giving us any way to bring in the mix buses. It, it would be nice if we could use this board to its full ability in, in our DAW of choice, be it Pro Tools or Cubase or Reaper or whatever. I personally use Cubase Pro 10. And, I, and it, like I said, it's not just me. There's video after video after video up on YouTube. People uh, posting creative workarounds to do what Behringer could do with, with the software update. And, and I, there's no doubt in my mind that it's a software update, that a software update would fix this problem. Behringer, if you watch the video, I'll please, please, please let us know. Uh, even if you just say no, that we're not ever going to do it. Let us know. Uh, I do not want to replace this board to get full functionality over in my doll. I, I believe that, I believe that you're aware, y'all are aware of this and, and uh, y'all know whether it can be done or not. Uh, let us know. And, and if it can be done, uh, let us know if you're going to do it or not. Uh, it's just a, it's a great console. Uh, the update. Now I'm not knocking the update. The update brings in some really cool stuff. It, it, uh, it really does. Uh, over a, a thousand and one improvements in, in the, the software on the, on the console. I, I mean, when you did the update, you give us basically a, it's a, a basic patch bay where we can choose our sources and our input patches and you give us our user out where we can choose our outputs. Why didn't you give us the ability to do this with our USB card? Why didn't you give us the ability to choose our mix buses as inputs and outputs on our USB card? Uh, I'll, if I, if it meant buying a, a, a new card, to be able to do this, probably me and just about everybody else out there that uses this console in the studio would be all over it. I don't know how many people that is, but it's 
it's um, it's enough that it surely it, it should make it worthwhile. That's my point. I just don't understand why you didn't do that here, and, I, and I'm and I'm totally convinced in my mind that this is something that you can do with software. I mean, you you brought you give us all this and just software. Why didn't you Why didn't you take it the rest of the way to where it needed to be? And if it can't be done, tell us it can't be done. <laughs> And if you know if that's a combination of a, a new, a new card and a, and a software update, I'd be all for it. I, I'd buy that new card in a heartbeat. I, this is my second USB card that I've bought. It's not a problem. And like I said, I'm not the only one that feels this way. If y'all feel the same way, leave your comments in the in the video section below. Uh, tag Baron in your comment. <laughs> well, let's see if we can make this happen because there's no reason for it to to not be this way. The, or the way that we would like it to be now. Uh, and if there is, Behringer, please let us know. This is my tally here at Red Barn Productions. Y'all have an awesome week and an awesome weekend. And I'm out of here.